Well, hello again. Twice in one day. Who'd have thought it? Right, so this is the video of um, James Brinley. Yeah, got the name right. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, it's all finished now. Finally got the engine all in, done, all ready to go. So we'll have a quick look down the outside first. So the it's mainly red and green with a traditional red oxide roof. So it's quite a traditional looking boat with our standard bow flash. So this green's a beautiful dark green. It does look nice. That's actually the reflection of the boat next next door. So as you can see, we've got the six solars on. So 720 watts of solar. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi on board. So there's the twin uh, Mimo antenna for the Wi-Fi. Um, pigeon box. There's double glazed units in that. Um, covered in leaves. It's that time of year again. But it looks really nice. Real traditional looking boat. James Brindley. There you go. I was right. Of course it is. So, there you go. That's the back deck. Have a quick look in the engine bay while we're in. So, it's another hybrid. Um, hybrid Marine. So, that's the electric motor there. All works really well, and then got the uh, little Basto Evo in the corner there, all nice and neat. It's your starter battery, your buffer battery. Pop that back down. That's it. And there's your full colour hybrid control screen. Showed you that on the last video, I think. I'm sure I did. And then we got the lockers at the back. The port side. Got the header tank for the central heating. Lots of storage. And then on the other side, a little more storage. Got the tiller in there and the tiller pin. So we'll go down and get on at the front. Uh, you can see the see the green now that with the sun shining on it there you go it's almost a British racing green looks lovely all double glazed units and then this one as you see when we go in it's got the uh, windows in the galley side doors at the dinette and the window in the saloon So you've got the standard size hatch on this one, but it's all storage because we're gas free, being a hybrid, it's all electric cooking as usual. And this little box on the front is to take your, whichever TV aerial you decide to plug into it, or um, you can get the little self-seeking satellite systems now, V-Cube I think they're called, V-Cube. They're really good. We fit a few of them on the on a few boats. Then we got a usual bow thruster setup. Uh, this one's got shoreline front and back, so that's just your your trip switch for the front shoreline, which plugs in just there. Still got the cellophane on it, and then underneath here. It's your bow thruster batteries, two big batteries there. Oop. What's gone wrong with the gimbal? Are we upside down now? Yes. Bear with me. And again, didn't like that. There we are. Yeah, and it's the 95 kg um, Vetus bow thruster. So they're the real powerful ones. You only need to give them a few squirts and they move the boat really easy. 
one piece glass in the cratch so no centre post is it much more of a view out there quite scorching today it's going to be hotter tomorrow so then front doors are our usual double glaze units with the lift out panels and then the backs of the panels painted the same colour as the uh, outside of the boat no really good full privacy then walking into the saloon so this is a conventional layout now the boat was designed um, with two captain's chairs in mind uh, to go into the saloon with a radio in the middle but at the front of the boat got two full height big storage cupboards with nice little shelves on got loads of storage in here and then massive cupboard down there same on that side oh shelves not in that one make a note of that shelves in this one I'm sure it's made it's just not been popped in yeah, so lots and lots of storage in the front of this boat. All the steps are standard steps again. Lots of storage in there. And if we're putting boots and whatnot in, shoes. Uh, that's the tank gauge for the water. The water tank is just behind there. So that's the tank gauge for that. Uh, TV unit. So like I say, the boat's got full Wi-Fi on board. So that's your, that's for your, that comes in off the that box on the front with F-Type already on it. Your little 12 volt socket for your booster. If you get the um, Omnimax uh, aerials with the mag mounts, they're, they're the best with the little boosters, the little booster plugs into there. They're the best aerials we've ever tested. They are great. So that's your... TP link, your Wi Fi router. So, all you have to do is put your SIM card in that. Uh, open to any network, more storage either side. It's nice little shelves there, and then it's the Candine flooring, our usual floor, really popular. Upgraded rads. Uh, it's got undergunnel lights all through. You can just about see them there. Uh, it's got the nice little wall lights in the dinette. Just touch the button and you can move these around. So They're dimmable as well. So you can turn them up and down. Going up. There you go. Yeah, you know, there you go. Just touch it again. Turn them off. So, yep, dinette, our standard dinette. So, extra wide table, which when you sat at it comes over your knees. Lovely. It's, it's just like sitting at a dining table at home. Really do work well. And then we've got our lift outs again on all the side doors. Again, double glaze units. So it can be chucking it down outside and you can still be looking at the swans and ducks or pop them in for total privacy or open the doors fully up when it's uh, nice and sunny that's uh, that's why it's popular to have these opposite each other because in this in the summer like it is now both sets of doors wide open it's lovely lovely to sit at the dinette and watch the world go by so underneath the dinette we've got Storage under that section all the way to the floor. Um, under this section, it's accessible through the door. And then underneath the foot section, we've got a drawer, it's a large drawer, let's go back quite far. 
No door on that one because this has got the freezer under the dinette. So again, that's, that storage is accessible from the top just there, all the way down to the floor again. And then freezer under the dinette, which is a perfect size freezer for a boat. You get quite a lot in them actually. All 240. And everything's on soft clothes. So yes, yeah, a nice little, nice little layout. Um, and they've gone for the the white painted sides with the oak frames, which is our most popular choice. Uh, but they've gone for the white painted ceiling as well. Uh, it makes the boat feel really light, really light and spacious. So the worktops are uh, Burlington slate. Um, which the customer had at his, uh, their, uh, their home um, and loved it. So we got in touch with Burlington and, yep, yeah, they sent us some pieces. Well, sent sent my the granite company, Whitby's, we normally work with, the pieces. They came and templated. And this is the result. Looks lovely. Two burner hob. My most popular hob again. Hide and slide oven. Even though you can stand right back from it, it's nice to, to slide the door away. And then underneath the oven we've got a little oven tray pan, shallow drawer, all soft clothes. Next to the you probably notice the undergunnel lights, under granite lights. Just shining through there. And also the We've got the plinth lights on this one, you can see, because it's quite sunny. But these all look lovely at night when the when it's just those on and the undergunnels. Full size fridge, don't need an ice box because you've got the freezer. Um, it's the Bosch uh, Series Six, I think. Same as the Neff, um, built in the same factory, identical fridge. Um, just different compressor on it. Also on this one we have a dishwasher, six place dishwasher, absolutely brilliant. We need to get more and more popular on boats now and actually use less water than, uh, than washing up by hand. So this is the sink side, lovely little stainless sink with a tap. Nice big drawers, all soft clothes. We got cutlery drawer, pots and pan drawer. Lots of storage underneath the sink. And Taz got the water filter on the cold side. And then loads of storage. In this side and then we've got room for a bin um, at the side of the unit there uh, another piece of Burlington slate there and if we're putting bits and bobs on so yeah nice not a bad size galley and it, it's quite wide between the two worktops because uh, we can we've got no appliances down this side so we can just tweak this back a little bit because we make everything in-house so we can custom build all that make the galley feel a bit more spacious oh nearly forgot our tin cupboard you get quite a lot in those and then our standard wine rack it's our usual wine rack which we'll try and put on everything and that's that, the extra in here as well, another little extra, is event for the um, proper extractor fan in the, in the ceiling, with the lighting, just above the hob. They have got the pigeon box, which uh, you obviously can undo, and let some air in. Um, 
and that, that with the extractor you've got no problems at all. That's it. You can also get the bungs for these so you can black them out as well. Yep, it's got the oak blinds, uh, Venetians uh, on all four windows. And then on the ports, it's got the bungs. We've got the bungs in the bedroom, and you can also put them in the bathroom. Again, Burlington slate. Standard undermount, Lily undermount sink. With our usual tap. Full-size mirror. Makes the bathroom look massive when you're in here. looking out down the rest of the boat so if we just shut this door all on big magnets and nice magnets there solid ash door sat ash and oak and we've got the extra uh, radiator in the bathroom the privacy glass on the bathrooms and these lift out totally as well a bit difficult one-handed but I'm sure you've seen them before from channel glaze uh, extractor fan switch is just there for the bathroom and then nice mermaid board this it's uh, it's got a slight very slight green uh, green and red marble effect but the green sort of ties it in with a with a Burnington slate so it does look really nice, it all goes goes well together. Lovely size shower. And that's uh take that plug hole, we don't need that anymore. Plug. We put those in, which is why we're making a mess fitting out, so nothing goes down the plug hole. So yeah, nice big shower, 900 by 760 loads of room. Uh of course the, the switch. For the gold put we always put in the shower and it's a nice stainless waterproof one now so you haven't got to open the shower door and get water everywhere a macerating toilet uh, with the controls there uh, that's the toilet tank gauge next to the toilet and I'll just give that a flush so you can see how these work. There's everything for you. Basically, you just flip and press the button, it clears it, and then adds water for the next time. Nice and simple. And all soft closing lids as well on the toilets. They're from Lee San. Where we get all our toilets from. Nice bit of storage in the bathroom cupboard. Plenty of stuff in there. Yep, that's working. So these are the bungs I was saying about. The, they just pop in. They match the fabric on the dinette. Um, even though you've got privacy glass there, no one can see in. If you want to block the light out, just pop them in. Same as the bedroom, they fit in both. We've got our usual pull out airing cupboard. An extra long one, keeps coming. And then underneath, that's your clarifier, hot water expansion vessel. That's your gold pump, shower pump. Mainly service cupboard, but it's handy to put some more things in. Use every bit of space. Uh, towel rail. So your towel's on that one. And that one to heat the bathroom up in the winter. So you've got a lovely warm bathroom when you get out the shower. Which is what you want. So then lastly, through into the bedroom. We've got our usual overheads. With our storage above loads of storage got the door in the middle on this one again got 
little shelf with reading lights just touch uh, touch switches on them um, got the light switch we've got a 240 sockets with the USBs in so you can charge your phone and then this is our usual gas strip bed which I'm sure you've seen before so it pulls out so you can either just pull it away from the gunnel or you can drop a bolster in over the back there and have it a four foot six or a five foot depending on the size of your of the bolster and then the whole thing lifts up one-handed look at that easy so you've got all that storage lots of storage down the back and you've got plenty of storage believe it or not on top of the tank yeah and it's nice and easy to get at as well i'm going to take the mattress off and lift the slats out and whatnot nice little corner shelf it's got the nest central heating on it as well um so as soon as the sim card's in the wi-fi and all set up you can control the heating from your phone it's got the nice little handy shelves so it's our standard steps at the bottom We've got storage in the top one and all the batteries for the hybrid are underneath uh, this step and they go the full width of the boat actually into the cupboards so usual wardrobe hanging at the bottom there's your hanging route drawers in the middle and then in this cupboard we have the main controller for the hybrid system and then it's the cross charger so that charger is is on all the time and that looks after your starter battery and your bow thruster batteries and your buffer battery that runs all your pumps and your lights inside the boat and we more often than not put dysons in there if you've got a dyson or hoover and then this is your main electrics cupboard 5k multi plus uh, inverter, uh, Victron MPPT, solar controller, and uh, that's all your 240 trips in there, and that is all your 12 volt trips up there. Hub for the nest, and all your emergency switches, galvanic isolator, and uh, that's your immersion because you can have your immersion heater on for the hot water, whether you're plugged in or not on the hybrids, doesn't matter. We put a little boost timer in so you can set it for what time you want up to four hours. So if you get distracted um, Then and forget about it. It turns itself off And then up here we've got your battery monitor uh, Your remote control for and your power share for the Victron uh, that controls um, basically your inverter charger tells you everything that's going on on there and that is your diesel diesel gauge it's got the diesel gauge on it as well nice little cubby hole there as well and you for putting bits in same as that one so that's the remote this one's got the remote for the hybrid system uh, so you put you turn your bow thruster on turn your hybrid system on to uh, I believe it says radio control dead easy to do and then you've got left right which uses your bow thruster and then you've got forwards and back which uses the electric motor on the hybrid really handy bit of kit especially if you're single-handed and there we are out on the back of the boat got it's warm but i'm not complaining there we go well thanks for watching and we'll see you next time